and then there's just a couple more. This is, um, again, the last ones are all from Louisiana. This is in um, the Plaquemines Parish. And Billy Nungesser, he's uh, in my research to go down there. I had no idea where if I would drive along the coast or if I would stay in Louisiana. But I don't know, have you heard of Billy Nungesser? He is uh, really outspoken about the marshland. And we just lost the Sophia Garden, like this nine months before that or whatever, and I was so impassioned about saving this, trying to save this garden, and that's what he was doing. He's like, the marshland is, is going, where it's, we need to build barrier islands, or it's, the oil cannot come in, it's going to destroy it. He was so like outspoken, and I was like, oh, I want to go where he is, because I just identified with him or something. So I went to his parish, and that was good because um, I found a lot of good things down there. But this elephant, I was driving back up north to find a place to stay, and this was just in this parking lot, this elephant. So if you'll see right here, there's this little sign, sticker, it's a Nungesser float, um, which I found on the scan. You can't really see it there, but I don't know. It just made me really happy that it's Billy Nungesser's, probably his float, or it's a political float, probably. Um, so this is the chicken crab traps, or chickens with crab traps, and this again is on my way down to Venice, and I talked to this owner, and he said, you know, he couldn't, he couldn't um, fish. They they couldn't. Their everything was just sitting idle, you know, unless they were out skimming. And there were helicopters flying all overhead. And then this is um, the last picture I'll show you, and it's. Jared and I saw an alligator um, roadkill. Okay, so who I I never saw an alligator roadkill before, and it was I was like, oh my god, that's an a alligator on the road, dead, like from a car. It was so weird to me. So I pull over and I wanted to photograph it, but I wasn't sure. He came out because I was parked like near his driveway and he thought there was something wrong and I was like no I just want to photograph that alligator over there and he I said but will other alligators come out and like get me I didn't know <laughs> I, was, I had no idea I just needed his his input on that <laughs> so it was I was there for like two hours he was so generous he's an alligator dealer he hunts alligators in behind his property he had, owns all this property with cranes and egrets and he took me on this boat he, it's like behind this trailer and the um, he's building a house by hand he keeps building new roofs because the <laughs> hurricanes <laughs> keep taking the his house apart <laughs> so he um, you know I googled him he really is he's like listed as an alligator dealer in Louisiana and the cranes were beautiful and it was it was amazing so I was a little worried he was gonna like chop me up, but he didn't, so. <laughs> I mean, at first. <laughs> it was a little like th to be out, and, you know, on his boat, but he was very helpful, and I, I just learned so much from that trip. So I'll close with that. I really appreciate you looking, and I welcome questions. Thank you. No. He asked if I had gone on ever have gone on safari. No. I wonder if I will ever, or if I, I, I suppose. Um, I'm starting an elephant project, actually, from all of this has got me um, driving around the country and doing video of captive elephants and how they do this weaving. I don't know if you know or are familiar with they, they do this rhythmic thing in captivity. It's not natural. And so... Um, I'm sticking in the United States right now to think about captive uh, elephants, but um, I'd love to see wild, you know, that would be thrilling. Have you? Really?